to week 11. You've joined us at the perfect time. We're back in LA, we've pretty much gone full circle. LA, San Diego, Las Vegas, San Francisco, LA. We're back here again and we're not on the beach. We've decided to make it more official this time because the session today is going to be epic. We're here at Broadway Gymnastics School, an amazing gymnastics center, which you'll see in just a moment. And it's going to equip us with the equipment that we need to hit this goal session. You heard me right. You've seen the program. It'll be in the description if you haven't already. This is a goal session today. The week started off, we had our, Tuesday was our day off, and then yesterday, we just had trunk work and cuff capacity. Now, that's pretty much a two day break for skills like planche, for skills like impossible dip, for skills like the one arm pull, probably my strongest goal. So we're coming into this session extremely fresh. On top of that, We've recently received our supplement stock up. So we'll be sipping BCAAs. We've got Hydroway Choc Mint. What? Yeah, I'm having Hydroway now. I just wanted to see if you guys had tried Choc Mint flavor. We were only able to get chocolate in Australia, chocolate and vanilla. So every time I have this chocolate, there's a sip of depression. <laughs> what? I managed to get it. In the States, they have a lot more choice and a lot more the supplements are more accessible, so Choc Mint is in. Join me for that taste test coming soon. Do you feel like you're gonna achieve any of these goals today? I feel like full planche is a nice. maybe. Awesome. I'm having C4 as a pre-workout. As usual, it's the best pre-workout I've had. Never had anything better. If you think you have something that's better, send it to me for free in the mail. Yes, give me it all. <laughs> now, C4 really is the best, so I'll be having that half an hour before the first goal attempt, which will be full planche. Try a bent legged one now. First time, I want to hit it with perfect form so that I can. I'll treat that like the straddle, lower down, nice and controlled, and that's it. No hold, but I want that first time to be perfect so there's no there's no worries moving forward. We've done that bent legged negative, which felt amazing. And then the next step really is full planche, but I feel like there should be a little step in between. So I've got Lachlan here to help spot the full planche just by my feet to prep me for a full planche on my own. Great. I just felt like my strength failed me really. The negative felt stronger, it turned out, which I thought was odd. This has been my last attempt for planche. I've got Lachlan here to spot it. He's spotting the feet. As I come down and keep position, he's gonna slowly bounce it. He'll take the spot away, bring the spot in, take it away, bring it in, etc. It'll help me really feel the position, and if I am truly strong enough, I'll be holding it. It up and uh, yeah, they uh, they they resisted for a half a second. They, so it's very very close. There's not much difference between that and doing it yourself. So. Yeah. I'm feeling the full planche is very close, and I haven't heard Lachlan say anything negative about my form. 
So that's really promising for me. That means that I just need to build that a little bit more strength, possibly be a little bit more fresh, a bit more psyched up for the actual goals session. So that when I come in, it will be a perfect form, solid two second full planche. Onto the impossible dip goal now. I'm going to try it with a little bit of a kip from that start position down here. We'll see how that goes and then I'll do it from a negative and try and press back up out of it. I feel like that's good progress and it feels rewarding to attempt the impossible dip finally in a goal like setting. So we're going down and I'm really aiming to not push it too far. This is just where it's at comfortably. And I'm going to try and hold it for one minute. I'm really hoping this is an injury that doesn't take too long to fix, but it's not one that I want to force to fix. That's possibly one of the points that you need to understand for stronger, is that we don't want you to feel like you need to rush your goal to the, within that 12 week period. It really is just we're trying to assess how long we think it would take and we build up the appropriate amount. And on goals day, if it's not there, it's not there. It's not something you can force. That's to do with programming and not how you feel on the day. So as you can see, I've been much lower two weeks ago. But because this feels, it actually doesn't feel like it's stretching much at all through here, which is, and I don't feel the tightness up here in the abductors, which I was feeling when I was getting much lower. But that's because I need to now scale it back to how strong the injury is allowing me to go. So that's been one minute and I'm doing three sets of that. And I'll continue to do that kind of stretching until I feel stronger and can go lower into the position, which will hopefully be before goals day. We've just finished. Here we are after a big workout. Hey, what a rude Kent. We've just finished the workout and this is the moment I've been waiting for. Second to planche. Yes. It was a very good workout. I felt like I've definitely, I'm at my strongest I've ever been for planche. Now, we're moving on to what I've been most excited about. I really wanted Chuck Mint from the start of the series and it was, uh, the choice wasn't even made for me. I was sent chocolate to my disgust. I threw it out, I screamed, I cried, and then they settled me down and said, you gotta have chocolate. Oh, that was quite good. Very nice. You can tell it's a fine quality <laughs> protein by just how well it falls out of the scoop. I should also mention, guys, we had a new flavour BCAA today. Pro BCAA Raspberry Lemonade, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I thought it was like Starburst. You feel that Starburst folly? It's delicious. It's yeah. similar to that. Yeah, all these supplements we're having right now are delicious. Yeah. Which is just... We, are, we obviously care mainly about what it is and it purity, but flavor's still nice. Why is that so bad for your teeth? Yeah, that tastes great. Wholeheartedly recommend. And now we're on to the next workout. Let's smash it and then I'll get more of this. I'm just gonna keep working out just so I get more and more. We're back on Broadway. Here at Broadway. We're doing our gymnastics conditioning today. It's busy yet again, so we're working around a lot of obstacles, finding the equipment, working in with everyone else and getting it done on time. I want to treat today like a really quick, as I should have been in the past, a really quick, efficient workout. I've done this, I'm moving straight onto handstand push-ups. Now I'm moving straight into the next exercise. Next, next. This is cardio for me. try and do as many as I could and hopefully equal or do better than what I've done in the past for handstand push-ups. Go for the 
height. I was annoyingly cautious of how much effort I put in so I didn't want to flip over or flip certain ways because there's kids around and there's equipment. Unfortunately, I only got about two. So I'm going to do the remainder with parallax on the floor. So I can really get that, get the workload in. today. Clearly those planches yesterday took a little bit out of me. I felt fresh, but I think there's more to, than meets the eye with the planche. Trying to make this one arm pull harder. It's annoyingly difficult. One, one progression is really easy, the other progression is too hard. And it's, yeah, it's difficult to find one in between. It's going to be a little bit more trial and error. But I think what works is I started out at a right angle. Now I'm gradually trying to bring the legs further out until I get to a straight body. I seems to be working so far. first five solo since the injury and then I was pretty excited so I forgot to do the hold. I guess I should do the hold now. Yeah, still pretty impressed that Doug liked it. Doug was happy. If Doug's happy, everyone's happy. push it past straddle planche during rings play today as I'm saving my strength for the newly added goals sessions each week. I'm able to fit in some one arm pull play. I was struggling to move up from the previous variation which was bent knees at a 90 degree angle and now I feel like some wise words from Craig have helped which is just to use more power when you're pulling up and I feel like that's really helped add a lot of strength in this exercise so I'm able to increase the variation as well as increase the volume which means I'm well on the way to getting that one arm full goal.
time getting two. Two straight states. I thought I was gonna fall on my face. I felt like my strength was gonna fail me and lots of wasn't strong enough to spot it up. But you went anyway, right? But I went anyway. That's what you have to do to hit the new level of strength. These negatives for five sets, really challenging. My body is saying, mate, I'm done with this. No more planche work. I tried to straddle for the first set today and I felt a pain developing in the biceps, so I chose to back off of it. It really didn't seem safe to keep pushing it at that intensity for me. So I stepped it back to those tucks. There has to be some kind of compromise there if I'm looking to give my best strictly following the program to each session, play and plant, because they both ask for so much. the workout today. I'm really happy with that one arm pull breakthrough. The planche I'm happy with. I didn't feel great to be fatigued during the planche circuit but what I aimed to do today which was relatively modest but I wanted to keep the scale back so that when the full planche comes I'm as strong as ever. All in all a really good session. Can't wait for the next one. I'll see you in just a moment. I'm onto that chop mint hydro way now. Here at Santa Monica today for our cuff capacity. This will be the last time we're at Santa Monica for the Stronger Series. And it's been such a lovely place. If you are in LA or around this area and check it out, you'll know exactly what we're talking about in terms of the vibe, the atmosphere and just how chilled and nice it is to come down here and do something like cuff capacity. We don't have a barbell, so I'm gonna be doing this variation, which I like. As I've mentioned before, I feel the variation with the tubing that mimics the Cuban press, Cuban rotations the most, involves too much deltoid when you're working with such a light resistance like this. So I like to keep my arm planted, planted against my side, and just rotate out like this. On 
again. We had to get creative with the IYT exercise. I forgot my shaker, so we couldn't use the shakers filled with water. There was some dumbbells actually, but they were 10 pounds, so too heavy. So what we did is we went to this bike shop that's just on Santa Monica uh, at the beach. I think it's called Bicycle Spokes and Stuff Bike Shop. It's something like that, right here. And they provided us with these bike locks. Initially we had one, but I went and asked for another one. So I feel like that creates about three or four pounds of weight. So it made it that bit more challenging than just for the first set using the one. I feel it helped a lot. Otherwise just using body weight for some is challenging, but you'll realize once you get past and you're able to do body weight, it's too easy. That's not going to help to develop the rotator cuff. So yet again, we had to be resourceful in our pursuit for something to use for IYT, which we did, which is an excellent end to our training at Santa Monica Beach because everything here just helps out in different ways for your bodyweight training and there's something for everyone here. Welcome to the next session. So I'm here at All Olympia Gymnastics today. This is actually where Michaela Moroni trained, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a very large, spread out gym. There's a lot of cheer that happens here, so they cater a lot of that for the floor. But there is what we need, the parallels, the rings tower, which is awesome. So we're doing our first ring sequence. I'm actually going to dial it back a little bit. And instead of having a lock in spot, we're doing a variation that works for me for the back and front end. So let's get into it. Hopefully this kick has improved as well. As you know, I've replaced the weighted pulls with an exercise more relevant to what my goal is of the one arm pull. It's the same thing that you've been seeing me doing and you know that I've upped the intensity since last time. And I've pretty much just come upon this, the high bar apparatus with the mats built up. So I'm just gonna work with that because the bar is the right width that I like, too thick. And something in my hand starts to click. This one gives me that solid, strong grit. The, high, the men's high bar is what I would attempt this goal on anyway. So having that thinner diameter is more appropriate for me. This setup is also primed to allow you to do some of the most dramatic falls of your life. <laughs> Much like the one arm pull, you know that for the weighted dips as part of upper limb, I substitute exercises more appropriate for the impossible dip goal. If you've just joined me, where I've struck gold, all I had to do was put a block under these P-bars and I can simulate the impossible dip easily. It's ridiculous that I'm discovering this now. And then press up with my feet on the block. Arms down, heels on the block, shoulders past the elbows, making sure my lats are engaged.
it's so hard for me to get back into doing cross press. And most cross stuff, but particularly cross press since an injury. And what kind of reminded me of it again today is that the skill is just so intense. For me, it's on my chest at the moment, but for as long as I can remember, it's always been really intense. And unless you're consistently training it, you really need to overcome a mental barrier to start cross pressing again. When I was doing it consistently, I was extremely strong doing it. So I just need to start from level one pretty much again and build on that. But I really do think now that we're at the end of that injury, it's starting to be more of a mental barrier to overcome, much like a back tuck. But I think I'm back. We are trying something new. What fun thought we should try level three on the cross trainers for the Maltese press. And bringing it further down, the, bringing the leverage further down makes it more, it makes it closer to a Maltese. I think because the center of gravity isn't so far removed from the hips, which is pretty much what it is in Maltese. Or it could just be disastrously hard.
are Gold's Gym, Venice, California. We it made it. Had to happen. We made it. We're doing our weight session, and everything is going to be that extra bit special because we owe it to this place. The mecca of bodybuilding. Pumping Iron was filmed here, one of the films that very first inspired me to get into training and just smash it and go for gold. That's why, for just this one time, we're wearing our gold stringer singlet. We're heading out to pop the stronger shirt for once, just one time. They had to rip it off us, the stronger singlet. Sorry, the stronger shirt. I'm all busted to bring gold skin. I just smashed the free workout. Now, we're going to set some PVs starting with the bench. Let's do it. What's that guy doing? Yo! Where's the sun? I just got all man. I just got all masculine. Yeah, it's counting. 
Come on, get that red. Get that red. I've got a 180 in us. I feel like I'm spirit bombing everyone on the walls here. Here we are, set three of the tricep pull downs. I'm actually feeling nervous. It's yes, just the environment want. where I expect so much of myself and I keep wanting to push it for myself, for this gym, for my idol, Arnold, who trains here, and for everyone at home. If you can make yourself nervous during training, that's a really good, it's an important thing to be able to do to you. Play yourself a competition when you need to perform. You're going to be in that same zone and you're going to know how to handle it. It feels fantastic. So I'm doing the cross press on the cable. Remember, this is the exercise. Well, the iron cross is the exercise that injured me. So understand that this is a way up of risk and how I'm feeling attempting PBs in this exercise. But I can today. How can we not? We're going 17, 42 and a half kilos. I'll be able to know how it feels on the first rep. You'll know. it again for the final set. I have to get this. This is going to full stop a solid session of all-round PBs. 
Finish it off with a huge BB. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Session. Yup. What a yep. session. It's getting closer. Yeah, it's getting closer. Wow, man. You did great. That was really impressive. That session was insane. And I actually feel the most right here. Now that I'm kind of the way. I've really hurt myself. <laughs> in a, yeah, in, in a good way, but in a way that oh my god, that was insane. I was pushing that to the limit. Unfortunately, no celebrities came in. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that session was incredible. It's. I don't know how to describe it, but I absolutely love the fact that you can be influenced by atmosphere, environment, crowds, other people music. I just love all of that. We were pumping everything into this workout so that we could, and I'm pretty sure I did, achieve a PB for every single set. Yeah, it was ridiculous. everything aligned for this workout, and it truly was my favorite weight session of this whole series. Of your life? Of my whole life. Yeah? Yeah, it was, That's it was damn so cool. good. We cashed it all on film. That's Absolutely really cool. loved it. This is a perfect way to wrap up week 11. It gives me a lot of confidence going into week 12. And just in general, I'm euphoric right now. I'm thinking it's pretty hilarious. We're in a tapering period, and you saw how hard Tyson was going. Got it. You wouldn't really watch that workout and think, that guy's tapering for his goals. But because we've reduced the volume of like the workouts, you're still going to get more recovery. And the gains are going to be crazy. Yeah. I found everyone we approached borrowed some chalk from a nice woman. She was more than happy to let us use it. A nice guy came up, wanted to get photos with us. So just people were really positive. We were going ridiculous. Good like, vibes. Ah! And uh, I didn't get any sense of people like, oh, shut up. Like, yeah, everyone seemed to be loving it. Which yeah. is just, that's what you want when you're training. It gives me a lot of momentum going into week 12. I hope you'll join me for that. Make sure that you, you have to give a like for this one. Look how hard I was going to bench. Mm. My ass came off the bench. Come on guys, that little two seconds deserves a like, really. <laughs> if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you do and subscribe so you get these episodes directly into your feed. There is not much longer left until you're going to see those goals at the end of the series. So make sure that you continually tune in so you can see those epic efforts in just two episodes time. And remember the goals, attempts is the climax of the series. It's gonna be the most motivating part, so you guys do not wanna miss it. You're gonna be, you're gonna watch that episode, and then you're gonna to have to go and train, because that's how damn epic it's I hope you wanna train after what you just mm -hmm. saw. Well, I'm sure you do, but the, these goals you have, you, you just have to, it's gonna be, it's the epitome, really. So it's just a week away, that week 12, sit tight, set your own goals, go and train for yourself, be inspired, and I'll see you for week 12. Oh, no!